Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. It is me, Grace. So for today, I am very, very, very excited to make this video because I'll be doing something different. Today, I'll be doing a small, pre-loved designer handbags haul. So the purses that I will be showing you, I bought them from local boutiques. It was really nice because if I have any concerns or issues, I can easily go there or, you know, text them and we can, you know, fix the problem or any any questions. So that was very, very nice. Um, so if you guys want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you two small leather goods and then two handbags. So we'll go ahead and do the small leather goods first. The first one is this Louis Vuitton business card holder. The back, you see the scratches. You can tell it is pre-loved. Here's the inside. First compartment and then second. The story behind this, I redyed this wallet. I will post the description in the, I mean, I will post the link in the comment section of the redying process of this wallet the reason why i redyed this because i thought that it will cover the scratches somehow but unfortunately it didn't i'm very very glad that i did not pay a lot for this so i wasn't afraid to try the whole process but yeah so far i love this i still use this every day for you know for everyday use i put my driver's license and a debit card and a few cash and it works really well I love it so that's the first one the second one is, where, where is it? this one so actually before that when I got this wallet it doesn't come with anything only uh, like a zip ziplock bag to to cover this but other than that it it came with just this but I didn't, like I said, I did not pay a lot for this, so it wasn't too bad. Next is this one. It's so funny because it looks like I went to Louis Vuitton and buy this directly from them because it comes with the paper bag, but nope, I just bought them from a local boutique. This paper bag is included. The inside is this. It comes with the original box as well. It's super nice. The box is in great condition. And inside, it comes with the original dust bag. Oops, sorry, it's upside down. So there you go. It comes with the original dust bag. And this is a wallet. Da, 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 da. It's the wallet. This wallet is called the Sarah wallet. This is actually made I think in early 20s but if you look it looks it's still in a great condition or good condition. The outside is like great. That's the corner that one here right there and the other corner still in good condition. I like this um, the mirror even the inside is this it still looks good from here there's barely signs of use and then the first compartment there second here and third there's card holders in this part outside and then the coin purse the coin area there and then the inside of this coin purse there's signs of use I'm not sure if you can see that but it doesn't really matter because you know you can't really see them and mostly you will zip it so yeah if you can see there's that part though that the threading there like a loose thread but other than that, it works well. I love it. 
and I'm so happy because I've been wanting to get a Louis Vuitton long wallet so when I saw this on their Facebook page I went ahead and put an offer and then they they gave it to me so I got this in a really good deal so yeah I'm so happy with this purchase it looks like I went to the store and bought this so yeah let's go ahead and do the handbags so the first handbag is this Burberry it comes with the original dust bag there's still the price tag is still here but this is the retail price and then you know you can see the how the string is kind of messed up already and then the inside is this purse it's like uh, an alma bb this one the scarf i just added them to kind of give it a different look i bought this off of etsy but yeah this is the outside it's still in good condition I got this in a really really good deal as well the bottom so this was actually um, a bid so I won the bidding and got this in a, a good price so I was really happy so the inside the zipper the zipper there look it the zipper is still good there's no tarnishing and the inside it comes with a strap so you can use this as a cross bag this is the original strap so the cool thing about this not only I can use the strap or just use the handles or I can add another strap like a, a silver chain right here attach it there and the other side right here so kind of you know different look so I that's why I bought this because you can use it in different ways so that's the inside super clean there's no um, what do you call it stain at all and then the inside I like that there's a small pocket there with a zipper you can see that so yeah I love this so so much it's like an Alma BB so cute so this is the first handbag I bought from this from another boutique locally so yeah with the strap I can attach the strap is super easy snap there then another one right here then it's a cross bag Wait a second. Okay. Cross body. Cross body. Oh, something. You just can see. That. So, yeah. It's the first one. The second handbag is this one. It comes with the original dust bag as well. It's a Louis Vuitton. I know I love Louis Vuitton <laughs> so yeah this is the second one the lady was like oh I can add a dust bag the original dust bag and I'm like sure why not right so I have the dust bag with me and here's the purse I love this so much it is called the Saint Cloud in GM size GM is the biggest size for this purse um, if you look the strap there's a little bit of watermarks actually not so that's the, the strap the cool thing about this is you can adjust this depending on your style but you can see I adjusted it so that's the watermark there but it's okay it doesn't bother me I also got this in a really really good price um, online it, the people are selling this for like 700 to almost more than a thousand dollars but mine i got this in really good con price in good condition and then here's the back as you can see um the inside though it's like it's peeling this material is peeling but it's not sticky 
chance what I've noticed, but it's not sticky. Again, I can put my phone here in a vertical position. But yeah, this, this is the outside. There's the, the watermark. Wait again. Pull that to open the purse. You can see this area um, sign of use. I mean, it's a pre live, so there's still gonna be a lot of sign of use, but as long as it you can still use it or it's not damaged um, that's all that matters to me and I put a lot of stuff in because I want to keep the the shape of this well I don't want it to be deformed because it's starting to de get deformed right here and I don't like that so I put a lot of stuffing inside to keep its original shape and inside though it's super clean super super clean there's a pocket here with the zipper it's the same deal it's also peeling but it's not sticky at all so inside super clean I can fit my wallet my phone my keys my sunglasses uh, small miscellaneous stuff but yeah I love this so much it reminds me of the Pochette Matisse. So I was gonna get the Pochette Matisse, but it's super expensive or it's not in my budget yet. So I decided to get this Saint Cloud because it's within my budget. At the same time, it's pretty much the same size. You can fit a lot of stuff here, but some people said it's too small for them. But you know me, I don't put a lot of stuff when I go out in my purses. I only usually put the basic stuff or the essentials that I need unless I'm gonna go out of town and of course I'm gonna use my like my never full um, Louis bag but yeah I love this so much and I'm glad I bought this instead of the pochette Matisse save me some money and yeah so pretty right this is the last purchase I made so I had the the Saint Cloud the the Burberry like Alma BB <laughs> the Sarah wallet and then lastly the business card holder so these are the four um, things that I bought from di different boutiques nearby and I'm very happy with all these purchases because they're all in still good condition and I use them and on top of that the prices were really really good and yeah so I plan to make a uh, review in each um, wallet and then handbags and I'll keep you guys posted and please subscribe to my youtube channel to see more of my videos thank you so much and if you have any any questions concerns just comment down below and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Thank you and have a good day. Bye!